Okay, this is another installment of the Volt Quick Tips. Today we're going to talk about uh, the uh, power gauge, power usage gauge, in the 2013 and later uh, Chevy Volts. Uh, to get to the power gauge on the uh, dash, on the main LCD screen, you have the different uh, uh, modules here and all you have to do is scroll to the one that looks like a battery and an engine and you'll see the gauge. So when you idle in you normally at like 0.5 kilowatts uh, of usage and as you see oops, go to the speed bump here as we drive you see the usage. Yellow is uh, the yellow line to the left of the readout there on the gauge is for the, it means it's being used by the battery and green means there's some regeneration going on and it's called power is being regenerated back into the battery. If you notice I I'm driving in, in the L mode, low gear, uh, which I do pretty much 100 percent of the time when I'm going forward uh, and if you notice, my range right now is 52 miles. I average around 50 per day. So driving in low and, and keeping an eye on the battery usage or the power gauge is a great way to maximize your, your electric miles. Uh, why would I use the power gauge as opposed to the spinning leaf over toward the right? Well, it's a little more accurate and it's, it's more instant feedback when you use the the power gauge. Now, my secret is, and you know, everyone is different, but what, what I do is I try not to go over 23 kilowatt hours, uh, I'm sorry, 23 kilowatts uh, of power usage when accelerating or just driving in general. If you can keep it below 23, and, and, and why did I pick 23? Well, it's just, just a number that uh, it seems to be a good balance between, you know, not dragging too far behind off the, uh, from a stoplight, and uh, you know uh, efficiency. So if you notice here, it's 10, 13, 14, 15. I, I'm in a residential street here, so I'm not going to be uh, gunning it too fast. So let me get out of out of my little community here and get on a on a regular road. And you, uh, you can see how quickly you can quickly get up to 23 kilowatts uh, of usage just by by accelerating from a from a stop. Um, okay, I'm accelerating, and oh, see, I went over 24, and then I let off the accelerator just a bit, and then I. Uh, I'm giving it more, so I'm up to 23. And the speed limit here, I think, is like 45. I'm going 35 now, and uh, I'm keeping it well below the 23 kilowatts. I'm laying off the gas, or, or off the accelerator, not the gas pedal. And you see it regenerating right now as I, as, as I had let, let go of the accelerator. Now I'm accelerating, now I'm letting go. So I'm, I'm coasting and regenerating, uh, courtesy of the low gear as I pull up to a traffic light. So I'm accelerating from the traffic light. It's green. I'm going up to 23 kilowatt hours. Oh, I went over just a bit. Then I bring it back down. I go back up to 23. So, you know, it's, it's once you do this for a while, you get practice, you'll, you'll be able to keep it close to 23 without going over too far. Um, so this is a good, good tip for hypermiling, keeping it under 23 kilowatts when accelerating. Uh, now having said that, if you're about to get on the freeway on the on-ramp, then yeah, 23 is probably not enough to get you up to speed in a, in a quick enough manner so that you don't get uh, you know, run over by someone behind you. You know, I, I typically can go up, you know, 35, 38 kilowatts, you know, and I consider that a general acceleration to freeway speeds. But then again, if you're if you're going out on the freeway, then you're really not uh, not really getting into the hypermiling at that point. Hypermiling, you want to take surface streets, you know, 
about stop and go, uh, lower speeds, things like that, and, and you can really maximize your your battery range. So anyway, there you have it. So try to keep it under 23 as much as possible. Driving in low, that that will really help your battery range. And that concludes this edition of Volt Quick Tips.